Okay, people. I have another story here. It's called Sweet Nothing. Let's get started. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. I don't know if I can play this, child. I don't, I don't. Oh, baby. I hate these type of characters. I, I, uh. Oh, I hate this. I'm sorry. I don't think I can play this. So, I'm literally scared, screaming at her to loan me a dollar. And she's sitting there completely confused. Which may or may not have to do with the fact that I was a foreign, I was in a foreign country that had a completely different language and currency. But I mean, it's still irritating. Yeah, but I know if I was in a foreign country, I at least would, I would at least know the currency, Brittany. Whatever. I, I was jet lagged, okay? <sighs> Carson, dear, you're here with us. Mm. Carson. What what is that? Uh we've literally been talking for the last twenty minutes. You haven't participated in the conversation once. I know I just need to finish this one chapter. Carson. What? I just wanted to finish this chapter real quick. We might as well staple a book to your head. <laughs> that will make Make it nearly impossible to turn the page. And also, changing the book when you're finished will be extremely difficult. Why do I even try? She's a photographer, Allison. Having background in architecture, plant types, and other visual things really helps. What about you, Miss Magazine Designer? Let's just say... My dreams of becoming extremely famous for a magazine designer are just around the corner. If you didn't have my pictures, though, your chances of becoming famous would decrease considerably. Oh, so now you contribute to the conversation. <sighs> Carson's photos really are amazing, though. Her photos have saved me from getting fired so many times. Whatever. We should let Brittany get back to work. Stop. Stop it. Uh, yeah, okay. Sounds good. We'll see you later. Alright, I'll text you if I need a photo shoot done, Carson. Okay, we can call we'll call you later. About going to my place tonight. Sounds good. Bye guys. Bye. <coughs> Meanwhile. Girl can I get some life in this story? The mail has arrived Mr. Thomas. Set it on my desk Shayla. Of course sir. Um Mr. Thomas. What is it Shayla? The magazine has arrived. What magazine you may be wondering? Only this month edited edition. Almost edited. Only this month's edition of the magazine line called. It. Oh wait, wait, wait! Can I go back? Okay. Irresistible. Um, a magazine edited by Brittany, featuring your picture. I see. Set it on my desk. What? Set it on my desk on the way out. Mm. Mr. Thomas, their magazine has requested a photo shoot and an article featuring you in their magazine. Should I schedule an appointment for the photo shoot? Of course. Tell them I want to meet their uh, photographer with their photographer. If they're planning on doing a photo shoot, I should know who's uh, taking the pictures. Of course, sir. I'll schedule it immediately. Good. I don't. I don't really like this, y'all. Sorry. Later that day. Of course. Wait. Are you serious? Yes, Mr. Tom Thomas would like to meet your photographer to discuss the details of the photo shoot tomorrow morning. Would you be okay with you? Of course. Wait. Would it? Just be my photographer? 
Yes. Why is that a problem? Of course, considering Carson barely talks to anyone outside of me and Allison, she's probably <laughs> she'll probably throw up at the sight of her in the building. Hello, hello, Mrs. Jones, are you still there? Oh, of course, and no, that will not be a problem. Um, where would you like to meet her? Uh, when would you like to meet her? The day of the photo shoot is fine. And don't be late. Mr. Thomas does not accept late visitors. This is real Fifty Shades of Grayish, girl. Of course, someone at his level of achievement shouldn't have to. Girl, bye. He's still fucking him, man. You too, bye. Oh, I feel like it. Carson to agree to do this. Next morning. This is real. Carson, open up the door before I break it down. Okay, girl. You real pushy, girl. Why? No. You don't get to say anything Look, looking like that. <laughs> you do know it's 6 o'clock in the morning, right? Carson, you look like crap. How am I supposed to get you ready in time? What do you mean? In time for what? Oh, I didn't tell you how you have an interview with this morning with Mr. Thompson before the photo shoot to plan it out. <laughs> um, I guess I'll be calm. You missed, you may have missed that fact. Um, why would you wait until now to tell me that? You know how I wanted to get an interview with Mr. Thompson and expect. And expand our publicity. Oh, uh, what does that have to do with me? Well, the photographer. <coughs> well, you're the photographer, Carson. You would be the one taking the picture, so he wanted to meet with you to discuss some of your ideas. Funny how I'm the one who isn't laughing. Look, you can kill me later. Just please do this for me, please. <laughs> Fine. Thank you. Now let's get you ready. Just kill me now. Let's straighten your hair. Pick out an outfit. Why do I have to dress nice? This is going to be a distraction. Please, just for me. Just do it for me. Fine, but if we meet and if we meet with him again, I get to pick my outfit. That's so cute that you think you'll get, <laughs> get a choice. Hell no. It was worth a shot. I hate how they walk. I'll change, I guess. Fine, but make it quick. It's already 7. Are you serious? I just get up. Shut up and get dressed. The outfits are over there. Um, What are you in the mood for? Let's see. What do you think? I think you can pull it off. So, you're happy with this outfit? Um, no. I need to try another one. What's the outfit, too? Oh, this is Kim. What do you think? You look awesome in that jacket. So, you happy with this outfit? Let's see what the third choice was. What do you think? You look amazing in that dress. So, so are you happy with this outfit? No, I'll go back to the fast hooch mama. Hooch mama, hooch mama, hooch mama. Okay, I love that jacket. <laughs> yeah, it's comfortable. Okay, yeah, yeah, girl. This is perfect. Thanks, Brittany. No problem. You look awesome. Thanks. Um, why are all these outfits blue? Because Mr. Thompson's favorite color is blue. Of course it is. What's wrong, Carson? I'm really nervous. Mr. Thompson has his hands down. Uh... It's hands down the most famous businessman in Chicago. Because I'm like, have his hands down? What? what the hell? Okay. What if I don't match up to his standards and ruin your opportunity to work with him? Carson, you're the best photographer in Chicago. The, pe the people just don't know it yet. And if he says so, and if he says no, it's his loss, not ours. All right. Thanks, Brandon. No problem. Now let's get this show on the road after you. I swear this is real Fifty Shades of Grayish, except for it's not an article. Well, she's not questioning him about the article. <sighs> I don't know if I like this game, y'all. I don't really. Uh, Mr. Thompson, so nice to meet you. Mr. Thompson would like to ask your photographer a few questions before we get started. If that's okay. Of course, she's right over there. Mr. Thompson looks over to see your face buried in your textbook. 
Without dismissing himself from the conversation, he approaches you. Okay. Hello. In the confusion and shock of hearing his voice, you drop your book. It hits the ground, making a large slam. You both go to pick it up at the same time. Your fingers brush as you grip your hand over at the familiar cover of the, your textbook. Then you let it go again in embarrassment. I think you dropped this. He smirks at you. Oh, um, thanks. Are you studying for finals? Um, yeah, I, um, yeah. <laughs> you look down as he studies you for a minute. You can feel your heart beat in your throat. You don't have to be so nervous. I don't bite. <laughs> you look up in total shock, then down again at your camera. You run your fingers along the scope of the camera and feel your pulse slow down from this familiar touch. Of course, Mr. Thompson. Call me Aaron. Okay, Aaron, girl. He says it as if it was a command, not a friendly gesture. Oh, okay, cool. Look, he's talking to the child. He studies you for a minute as if wanting, I mean, I want, as if waiting for a reaction. Well, um, we should probably begin the photo shoot. Of course, Miss Bel Belmont, Belmont, lead the way. Well, what the fuck did you really want to ask? You didn't ask me no questions, girl. You nod and begin to prepare everything for the photo shoot. Reminders. Oh, that was it? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That was real short, short fish, girl. Um, I feel like this is real Fifty Shades of Grayish. But I feel like, though the end, I was getting into it. The, the beginning, I don't... I, I don't feel like I was into that at all. I don't feel like I got into the whole story until they actually started talking. I feel like the rest of it was bull. But we're I'm going to continue posting this. And um, yeah, I'm going to continue posting. And anybody else, if you have any other stories you would like me to record, just ask away. Until next time.